Today we have a 2020 GMC Sierra 3500 and we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Gooseneck Ball and Safety Chain Loop Kit. Let's start out with the ball. This is going to be a 2 and 5 16 inch ball and it's going to make it really, really quick and easy to remove it. All you have is this little lever here and you just need to rotate it at a certain spot and then it's super easy to take out which is really nice. It's going to work with your Chevy's, GMC's, but also if you have a buddy who has a puck system on their Nissan or Ford, it's going to work with that as well. I like products that are going to work with multiple different types of trucks because if someone offers to haul the trailer, might as well just be like, hey, use my kit so you can haul it, not me. I'll just chill in the passenger seat. It's kind of crazy how this works and just that little lever is going to prevent it from coming out and then when you pull it out, so that's pretty much what the little lever does. When you lift it up and rotate it, the balls are gonna move in and out to lock it into place. So I think that's really cool and just so quick and convenient. You do wanna get some grease to make sure we can keep this ball nice and shiny throughout its whole entire life because it is chrome plated, so it is pretty, but also it is gonna resist against rust and corrosion. It's made of steel and this thing is real heavy, so it's definitely a heavy duty gooseneck ball. We are going to have a 38,000 pound capacity and we do want to make sure that our hitch system is going to be able to handle that. So definitely double check because if it's a little bit lower, that's going to be the weight that we have. But if it's all the way up to 38,000, you can haul with it. We're going to get two different safety chain loops, one here and one here, and they are going to be able to pivot, which is kind of nice. So first, these things are pretty big. So we have a massive safety chain and it clicks around there perfectly and these are going to be pretty heavy duty it's forged steel it has a black powder coated finish so it looks good as well and the way you take this out and put it in is the same thing just in reverse order so we're going to start with our little pin up top pull that out and notice i can't really pull this out until i pull that center pin out and there it is so to put it in just go like this Rotate it, push this down, and then slide this back through. Pretty simple. It's not a perfect circle, but on the longest end, when we go side to side, it's about two inches. And then from top to bottom, it's about an inch and a half. And the thickness of it is right at an inch. And the ball does give us a little bit of a rise. It's about an inch and a half from the base to the start of the ball. And then going all the way up to the top, it's about five and a quarter of an inch. So this is going to be ideal for our situation. As you can see behind me, this big old white thing, this is a pretty massive fuel box. So getting a little bit more rise might get that part of your trailer a little bit higher up so we don't have to worry about any clearance issues. I always like having cases because these are very nice and it keeps things organized. That's something I really like. So we have plenty of room in here as well. So we can open this up just like this. We can take all of our stuff out. But what you want to do is put the stuff back together how it was like this. And then this is going to go here. Same with the other one. Just like this. Now with the ball, it's gonna go right here. Pretty simple and easy. And then we can take this little plug to keep that rust from starting in there. And look at that. We pretty much have our own little bed. So this can fit in a toolbox, it can fit underneath your storage in the back seat. This is just really nice and convenient to have something to store it, just to keep everything looking nice and easy. And then you know where everything's at. You have a couple options on the website. The Kurt's gonna be the more cost effective option, but the one thing that I don't like about the Kurt compared to the BMW, one, I always like when stuff's zinc coated and the BMW is zinc coated. And then two, you are gonna get your hands a little greasy because the only really way kind of take this thing out. You can grab it from the ball, but you can kind of grab it from down here. But typically when that grease heats up, it starts to drip down. So this will be a little bit more of a dirty swap, but not that bad at all. 
the BMW has a big handle. So it doesn't have this. The handle goes up, which acts as this. And then you can grab the handle and take it out. So if that's something that you like, that is the more premium option, but those are your options on our website. And that pretty much does it for a look at the Kurt Gooseneck and Safety Chain Loop Kit on our 2020 GMC Sierra 3500.